Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McKay. This week we'll introduce you to painter Rick Kahn, who paints both wildlife and people. Like many artists, Rick Kahn has been drawing since he was a small child. He began painting as a teenager. Though he went to art school, he considers himself mostly self-taught. When Rick was 12, he saw a bear in the wild and was fascinated. Birding became a passion, which led to his bird paintings, when as a young man he tagged along on a bird-watching field trip with his brother and saw an amazing little bird. When I saw this for my first truly wild bird, it was a Maryland yellowthroat. And when I saw that little guy, you know, he was, he, he was a male yellowthroat, he was singing, and I looked in the bush to see what, what was singing. At the time, I didn't know his song. And I saw him, and that was it. I fell in love right then and there, and, and I've been watching birds ever since. Birds are notoriously bad models. You know, they just don't sit still. So I'll go out in the field with my sketchbook and my camera, and I'll do sketches. First of all, when I see something I want to think about working it up into a painting, I'll photograph it first, and then I'll sketch them until they leave, and to, to try and get the motion and, and the, the movement of the bird in a sketch. And then I bring them back here and put, together, put it together for the painting. Because my, my wildlife work is almost exclusively done in gouache, which is opaque watercolor. I have a few oil paintings, but it, it's, a, it's a gouache series. And I got started in doing that, basically experimenting with gouache. And I, you know, I just enjoy, I fell in love with the medium. So I, I used to use gouache to do um, color studies for my for my oils, uh, but then it, it just took on a life of its own and I just started playing and having fun with it. And I just started painting birds because when I, I doodle a lot and I would be doodling in gouache and whenever I doodle, a bird always shows up. So I ended up painting the birds in gouache, the doodles, and it, for, it just developed from there. And now it's like become a secondary series. I, I do a lot, a lot of wildlife paintings which are almost I'd say like 95% birds. Rick says he does not really like painting the background. He prefers to let the paper, which is often simply a medium tone of brown, serve as the background, only adding what he feels it needs to make the subject work. This approach allows the vibrant warm colors in his palette to pop. He begins with just a little bit of drawing to lay out the composition and then lets the paint do the rest of the work. And when I first started messing around with it, it was really loose because I was just experimenting and I liked that. And so when I started developing the paintings, I didn't want to lose that looseness. And you know, I, if, if you notice on all my paintings, you'll see, a lot of them you'll see drips and splatters which happen while I'm painting, but you know, it's like an accident that I like. And so it's an accident that I keep, you know. Rick's figurative paintings are mostly young women serving as live models. They are definitely 21st century girls, complete with tattoos and piercings. Many seem to be a little lost or sad in their expression. I like painting people. I, it, I like the challenge of painting, you know, the, the skin tones. So, uh, and, and, and the face is, it is my primary interest. I love facial features and they're, they're so complex and, you know, each face has a, has a life of its own. Um, and, Beyond that, I like watching people doing what they do every day. My work is mostly realism in the sense that it's, it, it's, that it's about real life objects drawn and painted to look like themselves. You know, the realistic, it's not photorealism, but it, it is considered um, realism. And I, yes, I am primarily, I am a figurative painter. Rick spent many vacations as a youngster visiting family near Cambridge. He moved to the Eastern Shore more than a decade ago. Well, people and birds are everywhere. So I can, I, you know, I can find models you know, uh, uh, to at least give me ideas for paintings anywhere. Uh, but over here, I, I got the, some really interesting wildlife in, in various places. Um, so it's, it's, in that respect, it's, it's, a, it's an environment where Places for me to go to prepare for my paintings are close at hand. Rick has this advice for new artists. My 
biggest piece of advice would be to just work from the heart. Do what works for you, what is best for you, and not worry about what other people say, not worry about what you're supposed to do, uh, what any other teachers may have said, you know. You pay you, first and foremost, it has to come from the heart. It has to be you. Rick is working on a series of faces in gouache, which he has one show for already and hopes to take to other places. He'll be teaching classes this summer on the topic of painting birds with gouache at the Queen Anne's County Arts Council in Centerville. Find out more about Rick and get links to his two websites by visiting our website, delmarvaalmanac.com slash arts. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters EatDrinkByArt.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune. <laughs>